G'day guys, hopefully you're doing well today. Today, I wanted to help you guys out a little bit. I've been fortunate enough to have a copy of uh, the NBA 2K21 on Next Gen. And I've been able to play for, with it for a few weeks. And I just thought that coming up to Christmas time into the new year, there's going to be a lot more stock coming out of Next Gen consoles, which means there'll be a lot of new players coming to the PS5 and to the Xboxes. Uh, so there'll be a lot of new players playing NBA 2K21 on Next Gen for the first time. So guys, today I've got five tips that you may or may not know, uh, that you may or may not have put into your already uh, your builds already uh, but these tips hopefully will kind of help you guys out with the uh, transition as someone's just followed me on Twitch hopefully these tips will help you out a little bit when it comes to starting off in next gen on PlayStation 5 or on the Xbox uh, but we'll jump in straight into my first tip now guys when it comes to NBA 2K20 on next gen there's a lot of builds that can do a lot of different things as you have probably seen if you've watched any content already it is uh, it is pretty impossible to not make a build that can do the majority of things you need to do in the game. Now, by saying this, my main point here is you need to research your builds. That is the most important thing. If you're new to next 2K at all, or you're a 2K veteran and you're playing next gen for the first time, please, please, please research your build. There is no harm at all. Even if you go and watch a YouTube video and you don't think that you'll you'll be so good with that build and you want to experiment with a little bit, that's fine. But use those videos. There is hours and hours of content all around the internet which can help you make a build that can suit your style. Now, obviously, the best build probably this year would have to be the 6-7 offensive threat at the power forward position. Uh, it was popularized by Joe Knows. If you don't know who Joe Knows is, he is a very experienced 2K guy. He uh, he is probably one of the most well-known, if not the most well-known guy in the community for the best builds. So I'd highly recommend checking out his channel. You can see it on screen. Joe Knows on YouTube. He has literally the best builds. He popularizes a lot of these builds, all right? So a lot of, a lot of time if he makes a video on it, a lot of people will start making it. So you want to make sure you don't get behind. If he makes a video, or if someone else in the community makes a video showcasing this really overpowered build, you make sure you don't make sure you want to make sure you don't get behind, and you want to make sure that you actually make these builds uh, because every little bit of research helps you in the end. So guys, that is my first tip, and we'll move on to number two. Now guys, tip number two it focuses around Rookieville. Now Rookieville, if you're not aware already, is when you enter NBA 2K My Career or the online part of a My Career for the first time. Now, you'd be welcomed into the, the kind of slummy area of uh, of the city. This is the city this year, as you already know. And basically, you have to make your way up to Pro 1 until you're welcomed into the city. Now, Rookieville is pretty self-explanatory. There's a few courts. There's 1v1 courts and there's 3v3 courts. You go through and you play them to the best of your ability. And once you hit Pro 1, you'll be welcomed into the city. Now, when you hit the city, this is the most important thing. If you want to get rep, rep is the, is the points in the game, the leveling system. If you want to get the best chances of getting rep in the long run, you have to work out with either some friends that you know IRL or some friends that you met online, which rep, uh, which affiliation I should say, which affiliation you will go with this year. So for me personally, as I'm in Australia, Australia, New Zealand, we kind of, the majority of people go to the beast, unfortunately. The majority of people go to the beast because of Ticino. If you don't know, Ticino is our mayor. So the majority of people would like to go to the beast, which means that if you want to get a constant stream of games on the twos court, the three courts, you have to go there. But however, if you're from America or you're from Europe, those conditions might be different. So you want to make sure that either you have a group of friends that you can go play with at the Vipers, say, or if you're by yourself, the best chance that you will have is go to the affiliation that has the most um, most population in your region. So for me on Asian servers, it would be the beast. So a lot of people go to the beasts. But you want to make sure that you do that little research as well. You can go through Twitter. Uh, you can watch people from your region. May watch streamers. Uh, for me, I stream obviously the ANZ servers, uh, but there's a lot of different streamers out there. I know Huncho from Europe, he, he's one of the most well-known uh, European streamers for 2K. Go around there and see what affiliations they're going with, and then you'll be able to get an idea of who you want to go with in order to maintain, in order to get the most rep possible. Because I don't know if a lot of people know watching, if you, if you haven't played 2K yet, you actually get 50% less rep if you play games in other affiliations. So for me at the Beast, if I go to the Vipers and I play a game there, I'll get 50% less uh, reputation points for playing there compared to if I was playing at the beast. So you want to make sure that you have either some friends or you go to the most heavily populated one in your region. 
Alright guys, tip number three doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the online part of my career, but does have to do with uh, helping you in the long run. So what it is, is taking advantage of my career endorsements. Now, when you first start your my career, you'll be able to choose between two different agents. Now, I forgot their names completely because I'm not a my career player, at least not this year, but you want to go with the guy that helps you with uh, earning fans in the park because that basically means that you'll be able to earn my career uh, benefits while playing online. So basically, you'll be able to earn these incentives, you'll be able to earn these endorsements by playing games, but you'll also earn the endorsements by playing and earning fans on online games, if that makes sense. So you can see here for these endorsements, I've got 200 VC from doing, I don't, I'm not sure what that is, I got, and basically you want to go through and do your endorsements. That's the that's the main part of what I'm trying to get through. Uh, they're very, very um, interactive, I guess, this year. You can, you can choose exactly what um, endorsements you want to go through so for me i've done all these incentives here these are just 200 vc little pockets that i'm just earning and earning you can see in the top left i've played around probably three my career games total this year all right and i've already got 128,000 fans and that's mainly because of playing park and playing uh the events and stuff like that so you get fans from playing those game modes and so that means you can actually get better endorsements so you can see here i've currently got five uh sorry six of the seven possible endorsements you want to make sure that when you go into these you select the one you want to do so you go through you might play a, if you feel bored one night none of your mates are online you might go through and play a few of these games get free vc off that which then you can spend on your player and get better to earn and and, and play better in the park in the long run so guys endorsements and fan uh, growth is very very important this year and it can help you a lot in terms of earning vc all right, guys, tip number four is an unusual one, which I don't really see many people recommending, but the best way for you to get better in terms of playing with just yourself, but also playing with your friends, is to use the event center to your advantage. Now, there is events nearly every single day. Now, all you have to do is come across here to the bottom tab uh, titled The City, and then you go to event schedule and you can see here there is a bunch of events that are coming up the next one's on wednesday so that is tomorrow now although these events may not be at the perfect time for you that doesn't matter at all okay if you just go through and do the events that you can do if you organize with your friends to i don't know get get here say for me i've got an 8 p.m anti-ups on 8 p.m to 2 a.m now anti-up note won't necessarily it, it's not leaderboard based as you may already know but that will help you improve. People that are very good at the game will come to these events and play them. You can get better at this game by playing these events. Okay, so you can see here Club 2K and then Rival Days, which are coming up soon as well. So for me, Wacky Wednesday, I'll most likely be playing. It goes for what, 20 hours, 22 hours, basically. All you have to do is wear an item from one of the one of the stores down the bottom of the map and you get two times rep. So that's, that's extremely worth it. You wanna make sure you're always checking in with this event schedule and you wanna make sure you play those two times rep events because they help you so, so much, all right? The reputation points you get from that, but also the my career points to help you to level up your player and whatnot, they can help you a lot. And it also makes you a better player of the game because typically in the park, you're not always gonna come up against the best players necessarily, but in these events, you will nine times out of 10 come up against a really good team. And you can't let losing get you down at all because if you're playing against the best teams, you're only gonna get better. So I highly recommend going and playing as many games and many events in this event center the middle of the map as you can every single day. Alrighty, and tip number five is one of the most underrated but also one of the most beneficial ways of playing this game this year and is doing the warehouse challenges. Now, there is over, I think there's 24 different people that you can talk to around the map. So there's different AIs that you can find around the map. And basically these guys will give you challenges whether it's a 2v2 or a 3v3 challenge. And you'll be able to go to these uh, these warehouses around the map. So I'm right outside one just here. This is the old gym. And basically you go in there you'll play against AIs and you'll get two times badge points and two times my player points and they help you so much in getting badges so if you don't have a lot of friends online and you want to still get badge points you still want to upgrade your player without having to play my career you actually get a lot of rewards from this as well you also get 750 VC per warehouse challenge as well so you do get a lot of VC but you also get two times badge points we can you can get multiple badges per game but also two times my player points which can help you get up to that 95 uh, player bracket that everyone wants to get to so i highly highly recommend getting these uh getting these warehouse challenges done because there's heaps of them to do you'll never very you'll very rarely run out straight away and sometimes they actually do glitch which can actually benefit you in a way uh they 
they they can just don't count and you can just keep playing them um, I'm not sure if it's a well-known glitch at all it's not really a glitch it's, it's, a, it's an error that keeps coming up but I highly recommend doing these warehouse challenges all right guys that was my first five tips on how to begin NBA 2k20 on, on next gen now just to recap they were researching your builds choosing affiliations not taking advantage of my career so you got to make sure you do those endorsements uh, was playing as many events as possible and I was also playing all of the warehouse challenges guys I hope you did enjoy uh, hopefully a lot of you out there who are waiting on consoles still will get them very very shortly uh, there's still there's a lot of people that are waiting to play against a lot more people in these parks as you can see a lot of these courts are filling up at the moment uh, most of them are running in my server until around 3 a.m. my time so I'm still getting constant games uh, but guys make sure you have a great rest of your night uh, enjoy yourselves if you'd like me to uh, continue uh, with more tips I can definitely do that uh, but for now guys enjoy yourselves uh, have a wonderful Christmas uh, I know I'm having a break over Christmas have a wonderful Christmas and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video peace